Let's now use what we know about the chain rule and the product rule to take the derivative of an even weirder expression. So we're going to take the derivative. We're going to take the derivative of e to the cosine of x times the cosine of e to the x. So let's take the derivative of this. So we can view this as the product of two functions. So the product rule tells us that this is going to be the derivative with respect to x of e to the cosine of x e to the cosine of x times cosine times cosine of e to the x plus plus the first function just e to the cosine of x e to the cosine of x times the derivative of the second function times the derivative with respect to x of cosine of e to the x cosine of e to the x And so we just need to figure out what these two derivatives are. And so you can imagine the chain rule might be applicable here. So let me make it clear. This we got from the product rule. Product product rule. But then to evaluate each of these derivatives, we need to use the chain rule. So let's think about this a little bit. So the derivative, let me copy and paste this so I don't have to rewrite it. So copy and paste. So let's think about what the derivative of e to the cosine of x is. e to the cosine of x. So we could view our outer function as e to the something, as e to the something. And the derivative of e to the something with respect to something is just going to be e to that something. So it's going to be e to the cosine of x. So let me do that in that same blue color. So it's going to be e Actually, let me do it in that Actually, let me do it in a new color. Let me do it in magenta. So the derivative of e to the something with respect to something is just e to the something. It's just e to the cosine of x. And we have to multiply that times the derivative of the something with respect to x. So what's the derivative of cosine of x with respect to x? Well, that's just negative sine of x. So it's times negative sine of x. And so we figured out this first derivative. Let me make it clear. This right over here is the derivative of e to the cosine of x derivative of e to the cosine of x with respect to with respect to cosine of x and this right over here this right over here is the derivative of cosine of x with respect with respect to x and we just took the product of the two that's what the chain rule tells us fair enough now let's figure out this derivative out here So we want to find the derivative with respect to x of cosine e to the x. So then once again, let me copy and paste it. So we need to figure out this thing right over here. So first, just like we did, we're just going to apply the chain rule again. We need to figure out the derivative of cosine of something, in this case e to the x, with respect to that something. So this is going to be equal to derivative of cosine of something with respect to that something is equal to the negative sine of that something negative sine of e to x uh, of e to the x once again we can view this as the derivative of cosine of e to the x with respect to with respect to e to the x and then we multiply that times the derivative of the something with respect to x so let me do this in this I'm running out of colors let me do this in this green color So times the derivative of e to the x with respect to x is just e to the x. So that right over there is the derivative of e to the x with respect with respect to x. And so we're essentially done. We just have to substitute what we found using the chain rule back into our original expression. The derivative of this business up here is going to be equal to let me just copy and paste everything just to make everything nice and nice and clean. So copy and paste so that is going to be equal to is going to be equal to this times cosine e to the x so this is going to be let's see we could put the e to the x out front we could put the negative out front so we could write it as negative e to the cosine x e to the cosine x times sine of x times sine of x times cosine of e to the x times cosine of e to the x so that's this first term here plus plus e to the cosine x times all of this stuff 
And so let's see, we could put the negative out front again. So let's put that negative out front. So we have a negative, negative. And then we have e to the cosine of x times e to the x. So I could write it this way. e to the x times e to the cosine x. And you could simplify that or combine it since you're multiplying two things with the same base. But I'll just leave it like this. Like this. e to the x times e to the cosine x times the sine. We already have the negative. So then we have sine of e to the x. Sine of e to the x. So let me write it over here. Times sine sine of e to the x. We had negative sine e to the x times e to the x, negative sine of e to the x times e to the x, and then that was multiplied by e to the cosine of x. So we have the exact same thing right over here. And we're done.